Welcome back. The Restore Her Dignity Hashtag 2000 Pads campaign was launched to keep a girl child in school by donating sanitary pads for school-going girls who are in need. The founder of the Sanitary Pads Initiative, Zenin Mukulu, as well as the coordinator of the initiative, Onesimus Joseph, are now joining us in studio with more information on this. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome to Good Morning Namibia. Good morning, Zenin. Zenin, let's please start with you. Tell us how this initiative had come about. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, first and foremost, um, this initiative uh, started to say we have uh, girls who are really suffering out there. And uh, it actually started uh, last year, October, on my birthday. So I started to ask myself to say what type of uh, social responsibility I can also try to do or maybe to plow back to the community. I decided to, to speak to my brother right here and also my other friend of mine, Mr. Levy, but he's not around now, so that we can uh, put minds together to see how we can uh, collect uh, sanitary pads. And also, remember, we are trying to, uh, to, to, to quote or to, 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 to borrow the message from the Minister of, uh, Deputy Minister of uh, Information, Honorable Emma Teofelas, to say she, she came up with an idea to say we need to, uh, companies or the government want to reduce tax on sanitary pads. But as we speak right now, we don't, not all the people can afford uh, whether uh, sanitary pets are reduced on tax. So we need now to make sure that what is the best modality we can come up with is just to say we need to, 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 to reach to out to the people, mm. to the Samaritan uh, people, maybe companies or maybe individuals. So in, in that uh, sense, that's how we really started to come up with this initiative, just to plow back to the community and also to make sure that our girls attend school. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, Onesimus, amongst many other goals, Harambe Prosperity Plan 2 seeks to create a knowledge-based society. Against that backdrop, why then is it important for one to contribute to this initiative? Uh, thank you very much, Denver. Many may agree with me to say there are a number of school-going girls that miss out uh, their classes monthly due to the, the menstruation cycles. Number one is simple because these children cannot afford the pairs. They don't have, there are some of them, they are from previous disadvantaged group. They can't really just afford. Hence, many a times they miss out on their classes. So going back to the Harambe Prosperity Plan 2, the fundamental aspect is to create a knowledge-based society, knowledge-based economy. And if we are having school-going girls that miss out on their classes, that simple killing the, the dreams, and we are not I, 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 I able to, to meet our goals as laid out in number of national policies, you mentioned the Harambe Prosperity Plan. To us, it's really important to, 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 to go out did perform our social responsibility as Mr. Mukolo had said to restore dignity and ensure that these school going girls who have still an opportunity to attend their classes we are able to make that possible by donating uh, uh, the, the, the sanitary towels and we realize that we cannot really do it alone we have to go out there and source some other uh, donations from individuals and corporations the fundamental aspect is to say to ensure that our school going girls they don't miss out at all Mm. Now, then, apart from resources, there could be a challenge relating to information about proper menstrual cycle hygiene management. Mm -hmm. So do you, um, in, in conjunction with collecting and distributing sanitary pads, also share information around menstrual cycle hygiene management? Yeah, well, thank you very much uh, for the question. Um, uh, when it comes to this department of... Uh, or the uh, subject of menstruation uh, cycle, we are actually trying to create awareness and trying to educate uh, girls when it comes to hygiene. And also on the handover in April this year, we are already put a female's representative in place who is going to educate our school uh, girls when it comes to uh, um, utilization of uh, pets, right? And also to make sure that um, those girls, they they, they take care of themselves when they are using pets because sometimes uh, a lady maybe can stay with her pets for more than four hours, for example, which is uh, causing maybe um, infection later on. So, but uh, uh, the females, or they are ready there. 
so that they can really just try to explain and get to dig deep to say this is how they can use the pets. And also by doing so, we are really trying to, to make sure that we, we go back to the subject to say we need to keep these girls in school, right? So by taking care of them, by going to school every time, they are going to achieve their dreams. Just to be maybe, for example, doctors, lawyers, and also to be TV anchors like you. So Thank thanks. you. Mm. Many may wonder, while you have the floor still, why a boy, ch boy child or why a man would have any interest in the menstrual cycle of a girl child? Yeah, well, uh, this thing we need, to, we need to understand. Let's, for example, as we speak right now, we are in front of the TV now just to, to drive this message of collecting uh, sanitary pads. Mm. And in, in this, uh, we are trying to uh, break down the status quo to say no, uh, not only to say menstruation cycle is only for ladies, right? But uh, even men can make sure that they can take care of uh, ladies because obviously these are our mothers, right? So I think we need to educate even the school boys to say um, uh, menstruation cycle is something natural, is something normal. So they shouldn't uh, take it out of context to say if they see maybe a girl child uh, in class maybe uh, on her periods, for example, maybe she doesn't have pets, as we speak right now. So we, they must take it so normal and natural to say they can try to, to, to protect, or maybe if the, the boy child is having a jersey, they can cover the, the girl child so Thank that they you. can, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that precious call. Thanks. Now, since we have run out of time, your brief mm. concluding remarks, please. Thank you very much. We, uh, our initiative, actually, we are targeting to collect 2,000 sanitary pets that will be donated for the first phase to schools, actually, in Ventuk. So far, we collected 263, and we started way back last year, October, on his base, the Shuari. We find out that the initiative or the collection is uh, kind of slow, hence, we decided to blow on awareness creations. I would like to mention that we are also going to participate in the most anticipated Vindu Kasi vibe. We're going to have a stall. People, uh, individual corporations that are really willing to come out and donate to, to, to this great initiative to ensure that our school going girls, we keep them in school. They can actually find us at the Kasi vibe. We'll be there. Thank and you. And also reach us on our mobile numbers, on our social medias. We'll actually be sharing information on how they can actually contact us and we can collect the data. What's your number? 081-32-34845. And Mr. Mukulu? 081-4053-270. Gentlemen, thank you very much for this noble initiative. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. There you have it. Mr. Zenin Mukulu, as well as Mr. Onesimus Joseph, and they're aiming to collect 2,000 sanitary pads to ensure that the girl child remains in school. We'll be right back after a brief break.